Hello and welcome back. Today we will be starting a new run in Victoria 3 in patch 1.3 as France. All hail our dear leader, the Baguette Centaur. Now we have prepped this run a little bit already, so we don't want to go through all the starting steps, but just very briefly, I'd like to cover it. Uh, for our authority, we are mainly doing consumption taxes, but we are also encouraging resource industries and road maintenance in Alsace-Lorraine. We have chosen this as our kind of resource hub. Resources are the best for increasing investment pool transfer early on. And then we have also in Isle de France, uh, we are doing the same except for manufacturing, where we are encouraging the manufacturing manufacturing industries and also doing road maintenance we will pull off of these as we start to lose money and instead institute uh construction or sorry not construction consumption taxes they really are construction taxes and this sort of thing uh for diplomacy we're improving relations with all gps except for great britain who we have rivaled justly so and then also um we have made sure that all of our buildings are kind of on the best pms um and this sort of thing uh they start off not on the best ones notably we are going to for free churches and uh secular administration um let's see what else uh we needed to put this up to philosophy department we of course needed to put the fishing wharves on privately owned because we prefer capitalists and then also um what we have done is we have taken the industrialists out of government and we are trying to pass land-based taxation the reason why is almost no one supports proportional taxation if you're already on per capita taxation but if you're on land-based you can leapfrog forward and so this is why we have done this um the theme for this run is we are going to try and put the Bonapartists in power, and until we put them in power, we're going to, roughly speaking, behave and look to stay under 25 infamy until that point and kind of just behave as France will. And after we get to that point, we will turn up the heat. Uh, we're hoping to see a lot of these new flavor events in 1.3, haven't fully explored it yet, um, just a kind of a little bit of a dry run, and uh, this dry run kind of informed where we put our queue. We are kind of missing some things. We are missing engines and boom booms and so we're mainly focusing on construction resources and that in terms of our construction queue and then also uh we are going to kind of do the conquest of algeria here as our main thing these aren't the best places you could take but uh they are the ones we are going to take and we'll be off and away and getting to it so here we are with the first event for uh, pretenders to the throne, where we can decide who to support. We are, of course, going to support the Bonapartist pretenders, and this gives us access to unique actions where we can exile uh, and put in people. Uh, specifically, I don't think we can uh, sway to Bonapartism on our landowners. Uh, we are interested in doing it on our uh, armed forces leader. We're going to first check his age, though. He is 66. Yikes. Uh, so he might not be long for this world. What about this guy, 67? Is there anyone who is, uh, you know, kind of uh, younger? No. Nope. Well, we just got a bunch of old people and people we can't really put into government because we can't really put the Republican Union into government. I am assuming the Republican Union is a little bit inconsistent with the monarchists. And so we'll keep just going along as we were, um, kind of re ready to do this. Now, we're going to put in a couple other war goals, and uh, if they back down, great. If they don't back down, also great. Uh, ban slavery and open their market. We'll see what happens. Actually, kind of most keen on the war reparations. We can really fight anyone. This is kind of a key thing to understand about France, is you are just absolutely insanely large, and so you can really just do what you want, when you want, to whom you want. Uh, we are not doing, uh, let's see, no revolutionaries. Taxation is theft, you're telling me, but who will build the roads to arms? Um, but one key thing about France is uh, this is not the strongest opening you can do for France, and just briefly to talk about it, uh, I think we'll do this one. Short-term tax cuts. We can really afford it. Um, France, the best opener you can do uh, is declaring to transfer New South Wales because no one else will have an interest in this region. No other GPs. If we take a look at strategic regions here, uh, it'll be Oceania and no GPs except for us and Great Britain. And so we will get a war with Great Britain where no other GP can join. And then in that war, we put transfer East India Company. And this is the strongest opening you could do as France. Um, we're not doing that because we're trying to play a little bit you know, more civilized, uh, while we still have the Orleanist, um, you know, in the fashion of, of course, the Baguette Centaur, uh, but, uh, yeah, so we will continue on, this war should clean up pretty quickly, and we will be off on our way with another war, another time, another Baguette. And we get a nice piece coming in here, we enforce everything on them, and we will have to select another war here, uh, don't know why it still says they're occupied here, 
That's a little interesting. That's a little buggy. Um, but also wanted to talk about, this is very nice, we have now this process. Uh, we went from referral to drafting in an acting land based taxation. And now I really like the fact that these are kind of going quickly. You get more of these events, you get more choices, and you progress. This is new in 1.3. Um, we could do splitters, let the devil take them. Uh, currently, why don't we offer new custodianship over this? And we are gain a setback. So this is also a new uh, sort of event thing um, where we are now, instead of just splitters and this one, we now have this third option, which will give us a setback. Now we currently don't have any setbacks. We could use some more enactment chance though. We don't have a lot. Um, and so we will take that. And now we have this setback. Uh, if we get three setbacks, the law is killed. Um, also wanted to talk about kind of our trade because we are doing the normal thing in terms of of trade uh, plus a couple asterisks so at the very start we do not start off with kind of enough um, engines or uh what are the boom booms which would normally we would want to produce ourselves that's why we kind of have that in the queue relatively early so we can produce it ourselves and then we'll get rid of these trade routes but we are going to be importing a lot of the rural goods the arable goods because these are employed by aristocrats 10 percent uh, uh contribution to the investment pool they are not preferable same with fabric and grain and we are not kind of set up to do any exports yet because we're really not producing a lot of manufactured goods and we are importing iron specifically from austria to try and smooth things out out to avoid shortages even though we're producing a lot of iron ourselves because we're ramping up in construction but we see that uh it doesn't look like our trade route is yet large enough let's uh kind of click every button before we remember the right one and so we are going to try and import from someone else as well the belgian market looks great we're adjacent to it it's profitable um and it's not going to spend us any convoys the swedish market also looks relatively good but uh we are also going to import from the spanish market here looking to spend no convoys and more uh just try and smooth everything out uh all the iron mines we are building are going to be tremendously profitable so this is good um also just briefly talk about we set up all the tech research uh that we're going to be going for quite some time here uh we're starting off with water tube boiler because we are going to be building a ton of mines and these will be much more effective with water tube boiler um from this we are going into pharmaceuticals and kunine we want to get a little bit of a leg up in the colony game and then our favorite canneries into uh mechanized workshops which will give us plus 10 economies of scale as well as some of the very best pms for both textile mills and furniture manufacturing and then we'll be going labor movement um now we need to find another war and i think if i'm not mistaken great britain's are being a little naughty so why don't we be a little naughty back we are going to transfer new south wales to them to us to them uh we're going to transfer new south wales to us and then uh, this will give us a war with Great Britain, where only Great Britain could join, it's all, also with New South Wales. We're not going to bother with New South Wales. We're going to land England, and we're going to land them using the landing trick. Uh, but we're also going to put in war reparations, because that's our money. We're also going to put in, uh, humiliation, because Great Britain. And then we're also going to put in... Man, this is probably okay. Uh, we would want to put in a bunch of other war goals. Actually, you know what? Let's remember ye old alliance, and let's also liberate... Scotland. I said let's liberate Scotland. Awkward. So we're going to come in here, we're going to declare another interest, and we are going to declare it in Scotland. Uh, let's see, where can we pull off? Giggity. Uh, let's do this, and then we will be releasing Scotland for Yield Alliance, uh, as well, as well as just giving a good kneecapping to, uh, Great Britain as we should. Uh, this is obviously not the most efficient warp we could possibly do, uh, but it's one of the funnier wars and so we will be going for it so we will also go liberate country on scotland and so this will be our war goals they are unlikely to back down and once uh kind of we go are going to what we're going to need for this war to work is we're going to need a couple more admirals and a couple more generals and we are just going to land with four admirals at once uh which will allow us to get it now we do want bonapartists so, as much as possible, we are going to recruit Bonapartists. I believe this is how uh, we kind of make progress on this Bonapartist front um, for Divided Monarchists. And so we're going to try and get as many Bonapartists as possible. Uh, let's recruit another Admiral, because we're going to need one more at least. Uh, this guy's a Reformer. That's not a Bonapartist. That's not a Bonapartist. And that's not a Bonapartist. Uh, so I guess we'll take this not a Bonapartist. Out of all the not a Bonapartists... 
uh, we kind of like them. And then we are also going to recruit a couple generals in the French HQ, um, the France HQ. This guy, not a Bonapartist, that's a Ludite. I'm really honest, we extra don't want those. A Legitimist, we extra don't want those. So we'll recruit uh, the Ludite friend. And we will not recruit uh, Orleanists or other guys. Legitimus. Oh, this guy's a Bonapartist. Perfect. So we will recruit him and we will likely promote him. I'm trying to get a little bit more Bonapartists in here. And then we will come back when we're hitting our triple landing on England. So as this war with England starting up, we get this little bit lucky here with getting the Death and Taxes event. Uh, which is going to kill off uh, Victor de Broglie. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that okay. Uh, who is notably an Orleanist. So we get to kneecap the Orleanist and get an extra enactment chance on our enacting land-based taxation. Let's go, buddy. So we will take that. We take those. Those are dubs. So here we have our triple landing kick in, and the way it works is their navy will catch one of our navies, their army will catch one of our armies, uh, their army is also a little bit occupied in uh, here uh, for the most part, which is why we kind of did this war second instead of opening up with humiliating Great Britain, and two of our other guys just get in absolutely free, and they just get the free landing. Now, we're going to promote, if we have any Orly Honest in here, we have a Ludite in here, hmm, interesting. They oppose, uh, okay, well, we're not going to promote him on the basis of ideology, but this Bonapartist, who's already gotten in here, he will become our biggest general, biggest, biggest, and we will promote him all the way. We will also, uh, since he's already in, uh, he's not going to incur the landing penalty. We also notice that uh, at some point our uh, Boyo died, who was 66, and this guy's only 52. So we're going to do a character interaction, which is new, and we are going to sway him to Bonapartism, as we uh, watch the beauty that is the Great British uh, getting rolled here, uh, as all their troops are in, you know, the wrong spot at the wrong time, we will also, this landing has failed, so we will bring this guy in, we will bring all the boys in, um, our milkshake, and by milkshake I mean triple landing, brings all the boys to the yard, and so we are going to get in here and we are going to get uh, a nice push, most of the guys, uh, most of their troops are often, <laughs> they're off in China, uh, ooh, this is a new one. Trade route importing British mark. Uh, yep, yeah, that is inactive. We will just cancel that. We will cancel this. I assume they will not like us very much. Um, we are running a fertilizer shortage, and I just can't bring it in me. It's just not in me to uh, to import fertilizer. I just can't do it. But what we will do instead is we will uh, put a couple of these ferts at the front of the queue as we continue to try and expand the iron. Um, kind of in a rough spot here at the very beginning where we are trying to ramp out the construction as quickly as possible and we're gated by the amount of iron we have. Um, I believe that actually in theory, well we don't want the Republican Union getting strong so this is kind of a no brainer. I think in theory we actually want to do some of this. Uh, we're going to just do wooden buildings in the one spot um, just so we can try and ramp out the construction because on a per construction basis it's a little bit faster but you just hemorrhage a lot of money. And we get social banditry uh, which is an event. Now we do have to keep in mind we have one setback here which is new mechanic um, so we can take a risk here. Or we can just take the minus 10 enactment chance on the chin. I think mathematically it's uh, roughly the same, right? So we can either get the, get the consistent one, or or is it the same? Mathematically? Jeez, my brain hurts. I need to play poker more. Um, I think that this actually might be mathematically better. If it was 0% chance, then it would be mathematically worse. Yeah, so 0 and 20 would average 10, but plus 10 and 20. So we're going to hunt down the bandit, and we're just going to hope we get lucky. Uh, team never lucky. We, of course, get... Mm, we get it on the face where we just get minus 20. Uh, but we're still going to stick on this because if you don't pass laws now, it's like two years before you can go in. I think it's 760 days or seven. it must be 720 days, but two years before you can try and redo it. So considering we're already in the drafting phase, even though we only have 9%, we're going to stick in it and we're going to watch the downfall of the British Empire here. Um, they got no troops here. They're all in China. Ba-boom. That's what we like to see. Crank, 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 crank. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, riggedy, riggedy wrecked, son. Oh, absolutely host. I've never seen fronts advance so fast. I wonder if this is new. Uh, we got our little two boyo kind of pushing fronts. Push it, push it, push it, push it. And we got them fully occupied on the British Isles. Now, what I'm talking about with the absolute kind of 
banger how you open France. Uh, we didn't put in this war goal, but if you transfer the East India Company, you'll be more than strong enough um, to kind of uh, fight everyone, which is what we'll be doing later once we get a Bonapartist on the throne. But I think it's important to emphasize what you can do is you can humiliate Great Britain, transfer East India Company, get war reps, and then get a bunch of other stuff, and then go around just continuing to humiliate people looking for, you know, regions where you can declare where no one else can join. So, for example, if we go to strategic regions here, uh, it's East Siberia. If we zoom in, it's only Russia. So if you declare on Russia for some little uh, chunk of East Siberia, no one else will be able to join. And then you humiliate them, right? So they can't join against wars with you. And then, you know, you kind of continue on. If you want to do a hyper high infamy uh, France run. Oh, we get another death. Uh, another death in the thing. So we're going to take a look at him. He is a legitimist. Um, we will probably have him die. Uh, we will do a new character appears. I don't think we want the resistance party to gain much strength. Um, oh, we kind of did. But we now have a Bonapartist in the armed forces who we transferred over. And uh, a reformist in the Catholic Church. And a pacifist. And so we are uh, we are getting some Bonapartists in here. While we get something else into the Great British... Uh, sorry, Victoria. You know, just had to do it to him. And uh, this might be the end of our... Mm, uh, I think we're going to take this... Uh, we do get the Resistance Party getting a lot of the votes, which is uh, we're okay with. Um, damn, there's no way to become more legitimate. This is unfortunate. Uh, we have Mr. Bonapartist here. Hopefully, we can get this guy. Is this guy an Orleanist? Yeah, he is. That's how monarchy works. Okay, well, we should be pretty close to enforcement here. Let's see what they think about it. Uh, they're not a fan of the liberation of Scotland, but... Uh, I don't really think you have much choice in this matter here. Yeah, you don't, because you're, like, full occupied. I think that tick went from, like, 50 to, like, 100. So it looks like war's been changed a little bit in 1.3, maybe. And we enforce on here. And they release Scotland. Ye old alliance. Can we ally with you, guy? Well, that will be the plan. Uh, but for now, I think what we will do is we will uh, continue on here doing our thing with these guys and trying to get in and get our, you know, obviously this is our land here in, uh, you know, Algeria. Not Algerian land, so we will just put a few guys in on fronts and we will blast them. And uh, let's take this event too. Ooh, Fertile Ground. So this looks like a new event. Uh, Gisbert uh, von, this is, okay, von Speschart? Has apparently decided that France would be an excellent place to live, given the influence of the politically unaligned in the country. Uh, so he is authoritarian. Let's see what that means for us. He likes oligarchy, autocracy, single-party state. He likes outlawed dissent censorship. He likes secret police, national guard. Generally, these aren't kind of things we are on board with as much. Uh, but... Hmm... That's interesting. Uh, so why don't we take a look? We have not looked too much, uh, in at least in this play. I have looked a little bit on these guys. Uh, we could get this guy. Now, I think one advantage to this guy being in, though, um, he is also Intelligentsia. So he will support all the Intelligentsia stuff. Um, and we can't invite this boyo, because, uh, you know, he's discriminated. Uh, but uh, we can... Hmm... So this will also brick one of our slots, which I'm not sure is a good thing or a bad thing. This is kind of a little bit of a... We only have a few slots for agitators, right? And we would love Bonapartist agitators. I don't think there are any, though. Um, and so I think we just let him come, and we see what happens, and we hope he doesn't destroy our uh, country from the inside. So we will click cancel, and so now we have one of our agitators in, and we'll be back once this war cleans up, which should be, you know, pretty quick. So it appears we've made a horrible mistake here. Uh, our dear friend uh, Gisebald von uh, Spieschart, uh, we didn't really think about the fact that he would not like this, uh, our trying to pass land-based taxation, and now he is meddling. The meddling meddler. Uh, we can either send word to the press and get uh, interest group pop attraction and minus enactment chance. Stay focused on the law, where we will kind of have a little bit of a chance um, to kind of dodge this negative enactment chance. Uh, and he can get pop attraction or negative pop attraction or corruption like any other, where we will get enactment time. 
and uh, minus to authority, but that'll be a pretty big minus. The 10% out of this will be running pretty low on the authority. I think we're going to stay focused on the law. Hope we don't roll the enactment chance. We didn't roll the enactment chance, and so we'll continue going after Mascara and the rest of, in here, Algeria. So we just researched Water to Boiler, which is our first tech that we had available to be researched or that we started researching, which is going to be a pretty big deal here because the PMs for that are way more efficient. So we're going to come into the buildings, we're going to swap them all over, and then earlier we kind of had swapped a couple of... Uh, these construction centers off. We're gonna swap them back on the iron frame building. Our iron woes should be solved a little bit. And so we'll do whatever Ronaldo always wants to do. Victoria three players only want one thing and it's fucking construction. So we will blast out a bunch of construction centers here. Uh, now that we have a lot of iron and we also finished the war here and man oh man is that loud outside. We love to hear it. All right, we're gonna start another war and we are going to just dominion these boyos. And mobilize and put on just one guy should be enough and then we should be back and we should be back with a hell of a lot more construction this is the way so we get another new event and this is a new stall event for our trying to pass land-based taxation which we've been trying for some time notably i don't think we would be trying to even pass this if we didn't already have really really good laws in place but overall we start out really good on the laws and so let's try and see what this will be about uh we can take enactment time and enactment chance this is nice um we can take uh just enactment chance uh and what are we giving up here Armed Forces Interest Group Approval. I think we'll take the enactment time. Ooh, why not use the relevant to Geldi Law as a template? And we can just get one full phase. Is progressed by a phase. That is, that seems good. I think that's better than the enactment chance, right? No? That's wild. We can push it forward a full phase. So f currently we're at one phase. The landowners, ooh, the landowners aren't too happy with us though. And they're going to be mad with us later when we try and go on to proportional taxation. And I don't think we want to rev, so I think we might actually do this one. But this is interesting. We also have to hit 6% after we hit this. And it might be easier for us to hit 16% twice. So why don't we do what has succeeded in Galadi will succeed in France. I love how the French are emulating, uh, you know, Galadi. Galadi? Galadi. Somali. Okay. Well, you know, if it works for them, it works for us. We love to see it. So we're a rebel without a clause here. We get another debate action that is new. We can favor the armed forces, favor the intelligentsia, and uh, or we could just censure Miss, uh, Mr. Gisabart von Spieschart uh, for encouraging this behavior. So this is an incre another example of the agitator kind of, uh, you know, doing some stuff in here. And so we'll just take a quick look at, you know, our armed forces. They're not very happy. The intelligentsia also not tremendously happy. They're pretty powerful. I think we might promote the armed forces mainly because this is where our only dear bonapartist in government it oh we have an industrialist bonapartist now but i think we want to promote the bonapartist for now and try and uh whatever i'm not even sure how this calculation is occurring but i'm sure that it uh values us having more powerful bonapartists in and about and so we are trying to get the bonapartists back and so we'll try and uh we'll try and do that now we should be taking an enforcement here really quick and this will i'm sure uh, get the proclamation of Algiers event uh, all triggered up. We're going to take a quick screen of this and we can do uh, let's see, we can do a variety of these ones where we can, uh, this is us getting Algeria. We're going to get a whole bunch of uh, claims all over the place. Inner Morocco, Tunisia, Sahara, East Sahara. So we're basically, North Africa is ours now. Uh, we can get uh, some interest group political strength, some officers stuff, uh, migration attraction. I think that the migration attraction is what we want uh, because the continuing event chain for this, uh, the Algerian departments, I believe requires us to have a population uh, in Algiers be mostly French, or sorry, not mostly, 20% French, because steady hand you need a steady hand on the reins um also what has happened uh you know kind of while we've been going about is uh this happened where britain dominioned uh our dear friends portugal and acquired a decent amount of infamy doing so perhaps we should have uh you know jumped in on that uh, but we didn't notice it was happening as it was happening but we do have all of algeria here and so uh i think we'll take this little togurt 
as our kind of final prize. Oop. Because now we can return state it. We can also return state against Morocco, I think. We can return state all of this. I wonder if this makes dominioning them cheaper? I don't think it does. So we might be just coming for returning all of their land. Uh, you know, kind of takefulling our rightful uh, Northern Africa situation. But for now, I think we will conclude this episode. Uh, we have uh, gone after Algeria. We gave uh, Great Britain a little bit of a kneecapping here. Um, you know, just taking Scotland away from them and also taking this away from them, humiliating them and taking war reps. We will continue to schmack Great Britain throughout this run. They're our only rival. Uh, we are improving relations, roughly speaking, with the other GPs, but not with France. France, we're going to let them have it. And so uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.